Executive Mosaic Publications sang the praises of 2023 WASH 100 Award winners Diet Gray of Catchy International and Michael Tarulli of Goldman Sachs on Wednesday, detailing the successes they have enjoyed to earn them government contracting's most distinguished prize. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee to endorse President Joe Biden's $842 billion defense budget request for fiscal year 2024. QSecure and partner Accenture have completed a multi-orbit data communications test using post-quantum cryptography as a cybersecurity algorithm. Frank Kendall, Secretary of the Air Force and a 2023 WASH 100 awardee said timely budget authorizations and appropriations are key to advancing the Air Force and Space Force's modernization initiatives to address real-world challenges. John Olanson, a 33-year veteran of NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, has been appointed program manager of the agency's Gateway Lunar Space Station initiative. Jen Easterly, director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency and a 2023 WASH 100 awardee, said the president's fiscal 2024 budget request of $3.1 billion for CISA includes $493.1 million for mission support and $408.3 million for the Continuous Diagnostics and Mitigation Program. The U.S. Department of Commerce has proposed rules that would bar recipients of incentives under the Chips and Science Act from investing in semiconductor production in foreign countries of concern, and some experts say such restrictions could prompt chipmakers to consider whether to take the funding or keep their plans to expand in China. The U.S. Army has partnered with Carnegie Mellon University's Heinz College to conduct a week-long collaborative executive training course aimed at preparing Army leaders to build and manage data-centric organizations. 5G Forum on April 25, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and its collaborators are exploring machine learning techniques to improve the detection of suspicious nuclear presence, PNNL Director Stephen Ashby said. The Office of the National Cyber Director and the National Space Council hosted a forum on Tuesday to enable government and industry executives to discuss ways to improve cybersecurity in the space sector.